Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 6 amazing upcoming 2024 Adventure Touring Bikes first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure Sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa Twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 rpm. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF1000L to CRF1100L for the 2020 model year. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally, a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. with five-time Enduro World Champ Antoine Mio winning the twin-cylinder class. So it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250mm at the front and 240mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, Gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too. Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 mm. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-rear wheel. But the Rally's wheels are built with billet aluminum hubs, XL rims, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, and its rear wheel is half an inch narrower than before.
If you've been eagerly awaiting the release of the 2024 BMW R1300 GS, then we've got good news for you, because it's finally here. The engine isn't the only thing that's new about this bike, either, as BMW Motorrad basically redesigned the whole concept of its flagship adventure tour from the ground up. The resulting bike weighs a full 26 pounds less than the 2023 R1250 GS, says BMW. Let's dive right in, because there's a lot to discuss. The engine. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cooled boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm, alongside 105 pound feet of torque at 6500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 RPM. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is a claimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. The NT1100, whose combination of performance, comfort, functionality, elegant styling and excellent value for money made it the best-selling touring bike in Europe in 2023, receives two striking new color updates for the 2024 model year. To add to its comprehensive appeal, matte blue jeans metallic and candy chromosphere red join the ever-popular matte iridium gray metallic in the NT1100 lineup. With all three colors featuring a new matte ballistic black metallic rear rack. Since its introduction to the European range in 2022, more than 12,000 NT1100S have been sold. With more than 66% of customers choosing the option of Honda's exclusive dual clutch transmission. To ensure that the NT1100 rider can have their bike exactly the way they want it, three dedicated accessories are available that improve comfort and functionality over long distances. Available individually or in three dedicated packs urban, touring and voyage the accessories include a 50L top box, fog lights and a comfortable seat. The 2024 Honda NT1100 has been launched with two new colors and an update to one of the existing paint jobs. Since its launch in 2022, the Honda NT1100 has been sold in over 12,000 units across Europe, and the 2024 model year will see the third iteration of what, in 2023, was the best-selling touring motorcycle in Europe. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL 750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300 GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market.
Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the 6-speed gearbox. Suzuki has launched the V-Strum 800D Rally Edition in France. Compared to the standard model, the Rally Edition comes with new components. That said, the Rally Edition is currently only offered in the international markets. The V-Strum 800D is positioned above the V-Strum 650 XT. It was just back in November 2022 that the V-Strum 800D was unveiled globally. What's new in the Suzuki V-Strum 800D Rally Edition? While the design of the bike is the same as the regular model, there are a few differences. One of these is the new guard around the front fairing and a one more guard for the engine casing. From the photos, it also appears to get a different belly pan as well. All these changes are made to ensure a better off-road ability of the motorcycle. In terms of hardware, the V-Strum 800D Rally Edition comes with a fully adjustable upside-down front forks front and a rear monoshock. The rear monoshock is adjustable for both preload and rebound. Braking duties are handled by 310mm dual discs at front and a single 260mm disc at the back. The brakes come with dual channel ABS as well. The bike rides of 21 inch front and 17 inch rear spoke rims shod in Bridgestone AX41 off road ready tires. Powertrain of the Suzuki V Strum 800D Rally Edition. The bike comes with the same 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor. This unit develops 84 bhp and 78 newton meters of peak torque. The rider can choose from three ride modes, and comes with Suzuki Intelligent Ride System. Apart from this the bike also gets ride-by-wire, quick shifter, low RPM assist and easy start. Suzuki V-Strum 800D Rally Edition launches in France. Our neighbors across the channel have a new options pack to add to the Suzuki V-Strum 800D.